Emotional testimony during the Derek Chauvin trial has members of George Floyd's family seeking comfort from a higher power. During the lunch hour, the family, their attorneys, and spiritual leader Al Sharpton walked out of the courtroom and outside to pray. As Rex Chapman reports, the prayer was not only for the family, but for everyone watching the trial intensely. You can see the anguish in the faces of George Floyd's family members as they walked out of court. It has a psychological mental effect, not just on the family, but on people who are watching television following this trial intensely. For seven days, his family has relived the incident that took their brother away from them forever. For many of us, George Floyd represents a cause, a case, a hashtag. But for his siblings and his children, George Floyd is their blood. With the foundation built upon prayer, this family assembled the team they usually pray with by phone and extended an invitation to all who felt the need to ask for strength to get through this trial. But after such a tumultuous week of them having to watch that tape over and over and then listening to the police chief yesterday, I said, no, let's run out there and have prayer in person. The Reverend Al Sharpton, who performed the eulogy at George Floyd's funeral here in Minneapolis and in Houston, led the prayer he hopes touches the world. But maybe we'd set a tone of healing because so many people are suffering anxiety watching this every day. Come forward, let us pray together. For a family looking for help to deal with what they've seen and what is yet to come. We're going through hard times right now, and we need people on our side to help us get through this. Rich Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. The family will soon have to look at photos from George Floyd's autopsy in court. They say that was another reason to gather today in prayer.